Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. And today I'm going to go over a tutorial on retargeting to a Mixamo rig. And this works with any animation or motion capture file. We had someone in our comments from the last tutorial that I did for Mixamo, and they asked if I could show how to retarget onto a Mixamo rig. So to get started with that, actually, I think I already have something set up and I'm going to go to recent projects. And then right here, we have two Mixamo rigs to make this pretty quick. Uh, they're both pretty much the same way on how you would do it. But I am going to go ahead and get rid of the C4D Mixable rig. And we're just going to use the web-based Mixable rig. And good old trusty Nova is here. You can do this anyway. You can actually go right down to the actual joints or you can just put it right on the null and it works just as good either way. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to rig and tools. And then I'm going to put in a character definition. Once you get this character definition, this is a very important step at the beginning. You want to go ahead and open manager. For some reason, my manager keeps opening on the other page, but just slide this over here. And as you can see inside of the character definition manager, everything here is a zero. The good thing is because this is a mixable rig and C4D is working with Mixamo, all you have to do is hit extract skeleton. And then here you go. Everything's populating. And if we were to hit this drop down, you got your hips, your spine, your neck, and your head. And there is a number here, which means that it is finding it and representing for it. If this was not a mixable rig, there is no fear because you would just go into your rig, whichever rig it is, and anything that represents what you think it represents here, you would just physically grab it out of the hierarchy. So just say this was a non mixable rig and I would just grab hips, slide it into the strings to include. Once you drag it in here, you will hit extract skeleton and then so on and so forth. If you have the spine, you will grab the spine from here, slide it into strings to include, and then you will hit extract skeleton. And that way you get any rig in here so it's compatible with Cinema 4D and any motion capture animation. All right, so all that's good. We're done there. So now we want to add an animation to this rig. Like I said, just so happened it is a mixable rig, so it makes things a little easier, but I just showed you how if it was not. So I'm going to come in here. I got my good old trusty hearts here available, and I'm going to click on this. So this is talk on the phone. Good thing is it already has its own character definition tag. But if not, I just showed you how to get it. You would just right click, go to rigging, and you will add a character definition. Also, right here, if we go to rigging tags, there is a create character solver. I'm not going to do it here, but just in case if it does not work in this area right here, that is how you will go ahead and add it yourself. So we're going to hit create solver. One important step, we have to make sure that this has all of the bones inside of the extract skeleton, which it does by default. But if not, we will go ahead and hit extract skeleton or slide them into strings to include manually until we got them all complete. But once you do that, you can actually save your preset here so you don't have to redo it again for that certain rig. So you would bring that rig in again. If it had all zeros here, you would just load preset, find where you saved it, and it will populate so you don't have to redo it again. C4D was very smart and giving us that shortcut. Now that we have our character solver tag here, the only thing we have to do now, now that all the bones have populated in this animation talking on the phone, is simply slide it in. And you already see that Nova has taken the pose. Let's go ahead and change it to this shading. And we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. So as we see, Nova. And if we hit play and everything went okay, she should be talking on the phone. It's that simple. We just pretty much in a couple of minutes retargeted an animation onto a Mixamo rig. Also, as you saw at the very beginning, I had a Mixamo rig from C4D that had all the guides and all that on it. It's the same exact procedure. You could put it on the null, you could put it on the actual character, and the steps were exactly the same. I do know that. If you wanted to edit this, you are limited unless you have that control rig. If you have the Mixamo rig with the control points, you can move all of that, change the animation, 
in any direction, even rotation. So I hope that helps uh, for the comment that we had of retargeting an animation to a Mixamo rig. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And we thank you for all the support. Hit that thumbs up and always hit the notifications. So whenever we drop a new video, you'll get it firsthand. Until next time.